Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday visited the Majlis of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Majlis of the Sons of the Late Rashid Abdul Rahman Al Zayani, the Majlis of the Al Kohiji family, and the Majlis of the Sons of the Late Abdul Jabbar Al Kohiji. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the Majlis visits. His Royal Highness highlighted the vital role Bahraini citizens play in the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad. He added that investing in initiatives that aim to further strengthen the skill set of Bahraini citizens remains a strategic goal to which the kingdom is firmly committed. His Royal Highness the Deputy King noted that with the grace of Allah, the collaborative efforts of Bahrain citizens and the continuous support extended by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait, the kingdom was able to overcome financial challenges. He also noted the importance of further enhancing the role of the private sector as the main driver of economic growth. In this regard, His Royal Highness added that strengthening the, econo the kingdom's economic competitiveness within various sectors is vital to attracting new investments and further expanding the national economy. He underlined the active role of the kingdom's youth in advancing Bahrain's development across all levels. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing pride in meeting the kingdom's youth during his Ramadan Majlis visits and highlighting their efforts in upholding traditional values. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and highlighted the Deputy King's role in advancing Bahrain's comprehensive development.
The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its speaker, Fauzia bint Abdullah Zainal, on the occasion of the issuance of the royal order to adjourn the first session of the fifth legislative term. Zainal expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his unlimited support to the Legislative Authority and the Representatives Council and for his directives that guarantee a path towards progress and prosperity. She also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their cooperation with the Representatives Council. Zainal also thanked the Shura Council's Speaker Ali bin Salah al Salah and the Council's members for the joint national work and the Endeavours Towers partnership and to the Minister of Parliament Affairs Ghanem bin Fadl al Bu'ainin for his support to the government parliament work. During the session, the Council reviewed the letter of His Royal Highness the, the Prime Minister on a draft law ratifying the amendment of the Article 8 of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Council approved Decree by Law 49 of the year 2018, amending a number of provisions of Decree by Law 54 of the year 2002 on the rules of a procedure of the Representatives Council and approved Decree by Law 50 of the year 2018, amending a number of provisions of Decree by Law 55 of the year 2002 in the rules of procedure of the Ishura Council. On the occasion of the issuance of the Royal Decree to end the first ordinary session of the fifth legislative term, the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa for his support to the Shura Council. He expressed appreciation for His Majesty's directives, which increased the cooperation between the government and the Shura Council and attending to its constitutional specialties. He also expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, for his support and continuous efforts in the field of economic development in Bahrain. Al Saleh asserted that the Legislative Councils will always need the support of the people in order to move forward and enhance its competencies. He praised the cooperation between the government and the Shura Council, which is represented by Parliament Affairs Mr. Ghanem bin Fadl al Bu'ainin, noting his presence in the Council's sessions and cooperation attending to the Council's needs. The National Guard yesterday urged firm commitment to unity as stipulated in the National Action Charter and the Constitution of Bahrain. It stressed the necessity for preserving key social fundamentals, particularly national security being the shield that protects the country, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The National Guard stated that nationalism must be a realistic practice rather than just glamorous slogans, pompous words or posts on social media websites, describing genuine patriotism as a collective consensus linking the people of Bahrain in all its categories through the common denominators of land, religion, culture and history. The statement denounced those who exploit the atmosphere of freedom and peaceful coexistence and use extremist religious platforms to spark division and divide wedges between citizens advocating ideologies which are hostile to Bahrain's national fundamentals and pillars. It denounced the parties that show sympathy to terrorist attacks that left a number of martyrs and injured among servicemen performing their duties, damaged vital facilities, terrorized innocent citizens and exposed their lives to danger. The National Guard called upon all citizens to assume their responsibility and play their patriotic role to defend national fundamentals, preserve economic, social and political gains. It urged loyal citizens to adopt patriotic stances and be fully aware of the mounting dangers and malicious voices that embrace heinous agendas which are hostile to the nation and citizens' interests, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect the kingdom from any harm. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly denounces the terrorist attack carried out by explosive-laden drones which targeted two oil pumping stations carrying Saudi oil from fields in the eastern province to the port of Yambar on the west coast, adding that the terrorist act of sabotage targeted the security and stability of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the region and the safety of energy supply to the world. 
The ministry hails the efforts of Saudi Arabia in dealing with this dangerous sabotage act, stressing the strong position of Bahrain, which stands with Saudi Arabia against those who try to threaten its security or harm its interests and the stability of its people. It also affirms the international community's need to act decisively to confront all terrorist groups and organizations and those who support them that seek to cause tension, violence and chaos in the region to maintain regional and international peace and security.